Take a live look over Sarasota right now. You can really see nothing, and this is because of strong wind and the rain making it impossible to see. For those riding out the storm, they're looking at possible catastrophic damage. Well, First Lord Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Valdez is in the Weather Center tracking Milton's path. Jennifer? Yeah, in the center of the storm, now only about 100 miles southwest of Tampa, Florida. You can see it very clearly here on radar, but much of the state already seeing torrential heavy downpours and severe storms. The state has been inundated with tornado warnings pretty much the entire day today, and that continues. Those purple boxes are confirmed tornadoes. The red boxes are active tornado warnings that we're seeing across much of the state of Florida. The storm is forecast to make landfall this evening as a category three hurricane. It will bring a tremendous storm surge on top of very heavy rain and, of course, those hurricane force winds. The storm right now is a category three with 125 mile an hour winds moving to the northeast at 17 miles an hour forecast to make landfall very close to Tampa Bay, possibly Sarasota, Longboat Key heading uh, towards uh, portions of South Sarasota, seeing possibly a direct hit from this storm, a category three storm as it moves inland to category one as it moves just south of central Florida near the Orlando area, then weakening as it moves east. As this moves on shore this evening, storm surge is going to be one of the biggest threats, especially from Sarasota to Boca Grande, where we could see a storm surge of 10 to 15 feet, even the Tampa Bay area. 8 to 12 foot storm surge possible. We'll talk more about that storm surge, how much rain we're expecting and possible impacts along the Georgia coast coming up. Thank you, Jennifer. We